Curtis S. The Pool Guy. Another question that we get all the time on our blog is this whole new salt system idea, what is this chlorine generator thing? And how would I put one on my pool? Well, there's some major brands that are in the market. Some of the major players are Hayward and Pentair certainly have them. Uh, Estral also has a system and then there's several others on the market. Pretty simple to transition over. Biggest thing is, which people have to get over mentally, is dumping that much salt in your pool. If you've got a 25,000 gallon pool, you're dumping 18, 19, 20, 50 pound bags of salt in your pool, and mentally that does something that people are thinking, I'm going to be swimming in the ocean. And quite frankly, the mixture of water versus salt is literally one tablespoon per gallon of water. So if you want to test and see what it would be like to have a salt system and what the taste of the water would be because you're certainly going to have a small sense of salt there is take a tablespoon dump it into a gallon of water shake it up and take a taste you'll get a sense of it but it's not like the ocean it's not overpowering it's a pretty simple system all of them are pretty easy to install matter of cutting into the plumbing putting the new unit in there some of them have the flow meter inside the unit others you have to cut another part into the pipe and put a flow meter reason being is you only want the cell to activate when there's water moving through the pipe, not just in the pipe, but moving through the pipe. And once you've done that, it's a matter of hooking up the electrical into the, more often than not, it's a time clock, into the time clock so that when the pump goes on, the chlorine generator goes on as well. Regarding salt and the concerns with salt, and something to think about is when you add salt to the water, the water now transmits electricity more so than when it's, when it's pure. The more dissolved things in the water, the more likely electricity is able to move through the water. Again, not a real big concern, but there is some concern because you're going to get more uh, micro voltage leaks out of speaker wires and maybe broken bond wires and those types of things. If that happens, the water becomes slightly charged and when it does, you'll have, uh, you'll have things happening in the water, electrolysis and things where calcium will come out of solution and attach to the, uh, the walls of the pool or it'll attack the metals in the pool, anything that's metal that's inside in the pool. Simple solution. It's, there's literally nothing to it. It's get a piece of zinc. It's called a zinc anode. It's called a sacrificial anode. You put that in the skimmer. They make them so they can be screwed right to the bottom of the skimmer. There's also a unit that can be plumbed in back at the equipment. And that zinc anode is called a sacrificial anode means that it will attract any electric charge in the water and let that electrical charge attack the zinc because that's the softest part of the pool, it's the weakest. And what happens is now the electricity is no longer affecting anything else, the problem goes away. Simple solution, although if you don't do it, I've seen situations where there was not a sacrificial anode and I've seen heaters come apart, I've seen calcium come out of solution and create literally sandpaper across the entire pool, the slide, the light, the whole surface of the pool. That can happen in, in a case where you have some electric voltage in the water. So just be a little bit cautious with that. Sacrificial anode, easy to get. Any pool store has. We have them online. Asthepoolguy.net. We have a store there where you can buy all these products we talk about as well.